Hi there, Dr. Kiri Yerke here. Today I wanted to go over an upper back stretch. And sometimes what I give patients is this dowel stretch where they use a broomstick or a dowel, put that behind their back like this, and then just do a gentle twist to the left and a gentle twist to the right. A very easy exercise to do, and it's very good for the upper back and the ribs on each side. So I generally recommend five to 10 repetitions to each side. And then there's variations of this. So uh, if you don't like to do this exercise standing, then you could do that exercise just sitting and uh, rotating uh, the upper back um, and one way and then going the other way. If your shoulders are too sore to do this, you can even put that dowel in front of you uh, in the front part across the uh, upper part of the chest and then do that to the left and the right as well. So that's a variation. You could also do it kneeling like this where there, where you're twisting one way and then switch the leg with the right knee down, the left leg um, uh, up and uh, do the rotation to the opposite direction. So that's another variation of it. Now, uh, another thing that you could do is put the dowel up over your head and then do rotations this way. Uh, so you can rotate one way and then the other way. If you're finding it too difficult to have the dowel down across the shoulders, this does give lots of rotation. There's a lot more torque in this one because the arms are stretched overhead, but it is um, also a little bit better for posture in general. So I do like this one twisting to the left and the right uh, and focusing on the area that the healthcare professional wants to help you with. Uh, could be the upper back in this case, could be the lower lumbar in this case as well, uh, or the low back. Um, and then the last thing I want to show you is a variation of this where you could have the pole or the dowel in front of you or even behind you, bend at the waist and do a rotation like this. This does rotate and stretch the low back, but it also there's a lot of rotation in the upper back in the ribs and then twisting to one side, keep the knees slightly bent, and then twisting to the other side, doing five to 10 repetitions on each side. This is a little bit more of an advanced type of exercise. So I would talk to your healthcare professional before you start anything new. Uh, but generally, these are excellent exercises for the upper back, the ribs, and the lower back as well.